What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Better Beast, and we're back with another bang. As promised, uh, we're going to do the ball handling badges, man. So we did the scoring badges already. Uh, if, if you like that video, let me know. I'm, I'm going to just keep giving you the, the, the pros tips, and I'm going to keep giving you the, uh, the my, my, my casual side. Because I'll be hooping on both, man. When I run, I run with the chat. Uh, my whole offseason, then when I go in the league, I'm playing against all the sweats. So you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to give you both. Both perspectives and kind of let you know, like, all right, I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be bad. But we 30 away from 40K subscribers, man. I'm trying to go crazy. So make sure y'all keep showing love, comment on the video. Make sure y'all like the video. Just I don't care whatever you say, man. Just say something to boost the algorithm. Go say red, purple, I don't care, number 35. I don't care what you say. I, I read most of the comments. I've been doing a pretty good job. I got to all of them so far. But when I'm dropping videos every day, I... Typically, go, I'm like I'm typically gonna respond in that first hour, so turn on notifications, man. But uh, just show love, man. And, and, and if you can, ain't telling you to subscribe, but go subscribe. All right, ball handling badges: relay passer, touch passer. Relay passer is hockey's assist, and uh, touch passer is you know when you catch it, you zoom it. So when I'm playing in the comp, shout out Google Pixel, man, because this phone is fire. I love the Google Pixel. It's fire. I got my little my little iPhone, but then Google Pixel, this Google Pixel bus. All right. A little baby laptop, a little baby iPad, but relay pass. If I'm and a touch pass, if I'm if I'm casual playing, I'm loading up with the guys. I only got you know two two hours a day, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I do this in my time. I get out of work. I'm coming home, hoop with the guys, relax a little bit. I ain't throwing on relay pass or, or touch pass. I'm being honest. I'm not throwing this on. So if I'm to, I don't expect you to turn it on. If I'm playing comp and we got five and, and we trying to win some money, we trying to win some games. We competitive. Probably my shooting guard or the person that the, the the PG hits the most, he gotta have that on because he, at that point, if he not the PG hit him, if he not open, he gotta make a read. So for me, like when the, when the touch pass come, like I I might be like Kyle might be dribbling, he throw me the ball, and I see that Kyle broke the defense down, he throwing it to me, but somebody else is helping. And I see it before the ball even getting to me. I'm RB triangle on it. I'm, I'm R1, you know, square, R1X, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm R1 circle back to Kai. That's, that's the touch pass aspect, and you're going to get boost off of this. So, in comp settings, I'm going to use this, but I'm not going to use this as a casual. Now, big driver. I think post scores are going to be a thing. If y'all want me to go in depth about post scores or meta bills and how they changing it, I think, man, I think post scores going to be a thing this way, just like I think sharp's going to be a thing. Uh, they don't want meta bills. And, and like I said before, only way you could really, oh shoot, only way you can, yeah, nah, I don't, don't, don't see no search results. All right, now the only way you could really get away from meta bills if you dumb some down, like dumb in a six nine down, and then add in variety of bills, sharpshooters, uh, like like a post score, you know what I'm saying? So and it might be more to them. So it might be even more than just those two bills. I'm just looking at the badges and how kind of things playing out. So. Like big driver, if you you combine that with hook specialist, um, the, the post fade, and, and and it's another one. You got big driver and oh, the triple strike down at the bottom. I knew it was four, but we'll talk about that in a second. But big driver is a face up, face up big driver to the basket from within the mid range. So if you catch it in the mid range, they trying to get a little different style of play. You're gonna get a boost. So. That's a post score. You got a mid. You know, you put your back to the basket. You catch it and you could do a little something. K K like, like KG, uh, AD. Or even if it's a, a, a tall player like, like KD, you know what I'm saying? You might better use the big driver. So any type of big player that is in the mid when he catching it and he moving and grooving, this going to be a good badge. As a, as a, as a, like a, like a, like a pro tip from a pro side, I'm only putting this badge on a post score. But, you know, if, if from a casual standpoint, if I'm a tall player, I'm going to put this on too because when the pros catch it, we normally at the three-point line. You know, if you you hooping with your guys, you might be anywhere catching the ball. So, uh, I like it for, for for pros only in the sense of post scores. And then casuals are just a tall player. I put it on. Blow buys. Now, if y'all remember 2K18, they just actually made it a badge. If it's anything like 2K18, put this on, put this on, put this on. I about don't care who you is. Put this on. It's going to be good for pros and casuals. If you get blow buys off of certain animations, if you get a step, and it's going to allow you to bump and get through, and it's going to be clean the way it was in 18, put this on. If it's not going to be clean, if it's going to be like the blow by badge that they had, like the takeover, if it's going to... Like, I, I go get my slasher, put on blow-by, activate it, and could never get a blow-by. 
So it just depends. I'm a, I'm gonna go look at that badge because I remember at 18 we'll five out you to death, man. So I'm and, and then like you know last year or the year before you go put on blow by badge, you know, you know blow bys. So depends on the effectiveness of it. If you can get a real blow by like 18, must have badge. If it's like that takeover blow by, scrap that, throw that away for pros and casuals. Uh, physical handles now. Little guards, when they dribble, they don't want to be bumped off course. So when they, people got clamps on, you bump them. Like last year, you get bumped, you kind of stop. Then you got to back up. You might have wasted an adrenaline already trying to get to one side, trying to boost. He bumped you. Now you got to back up. You only got two adrenaline. I think the little guards, the comp guards are going to play with this. I think they're going to put this on, and they're going to be moving around fast, trying to play through contact. And, and if you hooped in real life, you might want to throw something on like physical handles and blow by together if blow bys work because if you could play through contact and get blow bys oh that's gonna give you that real life feel of that bump i'm gonna play through it and the bad part is for 2k you probably won't need no strength good part for you is you just put the badges on and you don't need no strength like real life you know strength is gonna what you dribbling through that contact you, you know what i'm saying but 2k they don't really do a really really good job implementing strength into the game and I think they will with the bulldozer that we talked about. If y'all want to talk about the bulldozer badge, let me know. I think it's gonna they do a really good job. They did a really good job last year with bully and, and that whole system on how to stop it, the interior. Uh bulldozer gonna be gonna, gonna be something similar because now you could strengthen and dunk. But I don't think they implement it with like like blow buys, like that's gonna be for quicker ball handlers. When you think about a blow by, it's if it ain't just a straight Throw the ball out, speed boost badge, throw it out and, and, and beat the dude. If there's gonna be some type of contact, it's some type of strength involved there. But yeah, unless you just iris it quick. But yeah, it's, I think physical handles with blow by could be pretty good. But I think a lot of people are just gonna put on physical handles and they a lot of the comp guards won't even touch blow bys unless they're in a five out. Now, speed booster. I think this is gonna be like quick first step. Everybody put this on. This is pros, casuals, tell your mama, put the badge on. Mama, play the game, put the badge on. Wanna put this badge on. This is gonna be a really good badge. It's basically a quick first step. Uh, if you're trying to get somewhere fast, we ain't gotta talk about this badge. It's gonna be one of the best badges. It's gonna be one of the most used. And uh, let's talk about triple. Oh, no, no, no. I want y'all to, I want y'all to see the people in the background hooping, but uh, triple strike. Basically triple threat. Now, if you combine this, from a, from a pro aspect, I'm only throwing this on if I'm a post scorer. I'm gonna throw in triple strike, triple threat, I'm gonna throw in big driver, post fade, and hook specialist. So now I can hook you, drop step you, I can fade you, I can face you up, shoot my mid, I can drive by you, I can triple threat you, shoot to make you back up. I, I can use my, my repertoire with, with, with all of those. Other than that, as a pro, I ain't touching this with a 10-foot pole. But triple strike, as a casual, a little jab step, work the jab, shoot my mid, shoot my fade, one dribble, pull up. It's, it'll be cute. It's a cute badge uh, for casuals because it's going to give you a, like a different visual to the game. But I wouldn't I wouldn't put it on and, and as a pro unless it's, it's, I'm using it as a post score. But, man, I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Next video, I'm going to drop. We're going to be the defensive badges. Uh, there you go. Perfect time. Any time, now perfect time. But I appreciate y'all for rocking with me, man. It's your boy, Better Beast. We out.